Hi, Craig Sigel from Mental Toughness Trainer. So what can a farmer teach us about mental toughness? You may have heard of this story, but it beautifully illustrates perspective and how to reframe the meaning of anything. There once was a farmer whose only horse broke out of the corral and ran away. And the farmer's neighbors, after hearing about the runaway horse, said to the farmer, Oh, what bad luck! And the farmer just replied, We'll see. A week later, the horse returned, bringing with it a whole herd of wild horses, which the farmer's son quickly corralled. The neighbors, hearing of the farmer's new luck and getting a, a whole herd of horses, said, What great luck! And the farmer just said, We'll see. Later that day, the farmer's son's leg was badly broken when he was thrown from one of the wild horses that he was trying to break. And a few days later, the broken leg became infected, and the son, he got delirious with fever. The neighbors, all hearing of this incident, came to see the son, and as they stood there, the neighbors said, Oh, what bad luck! And the farmer said, We'll see. A war broke out, and the country was in need of soldiers. The military sent one of its captains to the village to conscript young men to fight in the war. When the captain came to take the farmer's son, he found a young man with a broken leg who was delirious with fever. Now, knowing there was no way the son could fight, the captain left him there. A few days later, the son's fever broke, and a few months later, his leg totally healed. By then, the war had ended, and the son guided the family farm to prosperity. I regularly hear athletes describe in detail how devastating their last loss or choke was. You know, to a 15-year-old, it can seem like the end of the world. Now, what young athletes are missing is perspective. And this is where parents and coaches can be a huge help in building mental toughness. I had a 12-year-old client once who came to me a few hours after a total meltdown at practice, according to his dad, anyway. And the boy complained to me that his coach hated him, and he treated him unfairly. Then I asked him, so how do you know that's true, that your coach hates you? And he said, well, his coach was making him do more push-ups than the other guys, and was sitting him on the bench when everyone on the team knew he was the better player. He said the coach embarrassed him in front of the other players, and, and they often talked down to him. I looked him in the eye and said very calmly, wow, that's so great. He should have seen the puzzled look on his face, because I'm sure he didn't expect my response. And I went on, you are so lucky. And he got a little peeved and said, what are you talking about? I told him, it's so great that you're getting a jerk coach now at your age. Huh? <laughs> he said back, yeah, just think about it. If you went the next five years with nothing but great coaches and then got a jerk coach, Maybe at your senior year of high school, you wouldn't be prepared and you could easily fall apart under pressure at the wrong time. Maybe you'd get yelled at right before a game when there was college scouts in the stands. But because of this jerk coach you've got now, it's caused your dad to ask for help and now you're in my office about to learn powerful mental toughness techniques that you're going to be practicing for the next five years. By that time, you'll be totally untouchable and unstoppable. The worst coach in the world won't be able to affect you. Isn't that great? Isn't that lucky for you that you got a bad coach now? You're so fortunate. He then said my favorite words I love to hear from a client. I never thought of it that way. You too can give this perspective or reframing to your child. It is a huge gift. I'm Craig Sigel, the Mental Toughness Trainer.